están? Ya llegué a YouTube. <risa> Dicen que la tercera es la vencida. They say third time is the charm. So finally, I am here. I'm on YouTube. Finally, I just decided to just record, and now I'm gonna edit this together, and hopefully, it'll be on YouTube. Fingers crossed. So, if you all want to learn how to get this fabulous, fabulous Valentine's Day look, just keep on watching. That's how you know it's game time. Messy bun and getting things done, girl. Let me zoom you in. Tame them. Tame those hairs. Tame them, girl. Excuse the nails. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over our lids. And just be generous with it, girl. It's okay. There is never enough primer in the world. And then we're going to take our beauty sponge from Real Techniques and we are going to blend out the primer because you don't want any smudges. Then we're going to take our Chanel translucent powder. I am in the color number two and we are going to apply this to our lids on top of the primer so we can set it and this is going to help you blend so much better. Okay. We're going to be using Kylie Cosmetics, the burgundy palette, for this entire look with a Morphe M505 brush. We are going to start with a transition color in the color Beach. And your transition color goes right below your brow bone and on top of your crease. Your crease is the part where your eyelid folds. So we're going to apply the transition color right above that and below the brow bone. Just blend away, girl. Then we're going to take the color Penny. And Penny is going to go above the crease, but a little bit below the transition color, so you can see that gradient effect. Then we are going to take the color Almond with the color Burgundy. We're going to mix these two together, and we're going to apply that in the crease. And you're going to blend that from the outer corner to the inner corner. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. Mm hmm That's all you gotta do, girl. Blend it out. If you all have noticed, I'm only using one brush. Blending with one brush and using one brush for a whole look helps me a lot with the blending, so it's a little neat trick. Now with our finger, we are gonna take the color Dubai and we are gonna put that all over our lid. Using your finger to apply colors on the lid is going to help you get more pigment out of your eyeshadows. Now we are going to take the color Naked and we are going to apply this with our finger as well in the very center of our lid. And this is just going to give you like a little gradient effect between the burgundy colors and you have a nice pop of shine in the center of the lid. Ooh, 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 where'd that makeup come from? Look at that glow. <laughs> okay, now we are going to take the color Penny, and we're going to apply that under our lash line. We are still using the same Morphe M505 brush. Do that on the other eye as well, because you can't just have one eye and not the other one done, right? Then we are going to take the burgundy color and tap the excess because these red shades tend to be a little bit dusty. So tap the excess out and apply that to your lower lash line right on top of Penny. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes. And then we are going to take the color naked and we're going to apply that in the inner corner to get a pop of color. Then we're going to take Maybelline Define a Line as our eyeliner and we're going to put this in our waterline. Don't be too rough on your skin, just gently, gently pull down and apply the eyeliner on your waterline. Now we are going to smudge out the lower lash line and we're going to use an M. 169 brush with the color almond and we are just gonna smudge it out y 
yes girl oh this is painful like honestly it takes some time to get used to it but it looks really good so beauty is pain girl beauty is pain Mm mm-hmm mm-hmm then because i'm a little bit extra i'm still gonna put a little bit more highlight in my inner corner because there is never enough highlight okay this is the lineador cuatro en uno de prosa you could get this at the pulga at the fleet market the swap meet girl it's mexican and it's amazing okay so let's just do our wing liner and get that very very sharp line look at that mm-hmm. i like to start at the outer corner and then flick a line up towards my eyebrow and then drag it back in and then go into the inner corner and connect those two lines and that is how i get my perfect eyeliner mm-hmm. look at that sharp okay now let's do the same thing on the other eye It takes practice, girl. Don't be, don't feel defeated by your eyeliner. All you have to do is practice and you'll get it soon enough. For mascara, I like to use two mascaras, Mad Lash and Better Than Sex Mascara. First, I like to go in with Mad Lash, which is, which is going to give us a lot of length. Girl, this mascara gives you length. I don't use false eyelashes. These are my natural eyelashes and you're going to see how long Mad Lash makes my eyelashes. This is by The Bomb Cosmetics and you can actually get it at Kohl's. Mm-hmm. look at that girl <laughs> but that's not enough oh no we're gonna go in with a second coat of better than oops better than sex mascara by Too faced and we are gonna apply that on top of mad lash to give our lashes volume i still have yet to find a mascara that can do both give length and volume so i just like to use this trick that way i get both of be the best of both worlds mm-hmm mm-hmm now I can fly away, fly, fly away. <laughs> Look at them, ooh, slow mos. Look at them slow mos. <laughs> oh my god, this is so ridiculous, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> ooh, the hair flip. Oh my god, watch that hair flip, mm, girl. Slay. <laughs> oh my god. Mm mm. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I can't with myself right now. I can't. Did y'all like it? Did y'all like it? Como me salio? I know it's the first time I do this YouTube video stuff. I did a voiceover, so hopefully it sounded good. I mean, I don't know yet because I'm just re still recording, girl. But if you like this video, I hope you continue to tune in. And don't forget to subscribe subscribe please bear with me this is my first video so i hope you really enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias they are all the same crystal hdz tapia and hdz stands for hernandez a lot of people ask me so just might as well throw it out there so i hope you like this video and i hope you continue to watch let me know what you think in the comments below bye